be honest with you, man, these uh, swim baits, whatever you want to call them, speed shads, are, you know, honestly my favorite way to target stripers this time of year. They're very effective, they're very inexpensive, you know. I personally like these ones because they have good action. They're pretty, you know, durable for the most part, depending on what, you know, species you're really targeting. And from a price standpoint, you know, you really can't beat it because with the price of everything being so high right now, you know, I used to love the Bass Pro Shop Speed Shads, which is literally the same exact design, same concept, just too expensive for my taste right now. Last I checked, like a six pack was going for like six dollars, which is kind of insane when you think of a soft plastic that one, you know, measly soft plastic's worth a dollar now. I feel like an old man complaining about the prices and stuff, but it's kind of gotten out of hand. Oh, there we go. There's our first fish of the night. Let me get this light on. Oh yeah. That didn't take long. A little dink, dinkosaurus. Ugh, let's get him in the boot. Look at that. A little dink striper. All right, man, so got ourselves a striper to start the night, little guy. Where there's one, there's more. All right, man. Keep working to my left for now. Man, as soon as I say that, huge jump. There's some bigger fish definitely mixed in. But I think... Oh, oh, there we go. There we go. That's a better one. These guys are spunky, man. This time of year, they're just fired up. Anything in this size frame is just a fighter. Man, look at this. Just a, another cookie cutter striper. Oh, there we go. There we go. Finally got a taker on this one. Not not very big, but feisty as can be, man. Whew. Oh, man. Man. He absolutely smoked this bait. Actually, not a bad size one. Compared to that first fish we caught, man, everything feels so much bigger. Man, look at this chunk. We might actually net this guy. He's, I'm afraid if I try and swing this guy, he's gonna end up coming right off. There we go. Oh man, actually, oh, almost lost that guy over. That actually looks like a keeper sized fish, man. Look at that. Man, that's actually not a bad sized striper. Look at that. Alright man, we are gonna get this big, well, bigger striper. Well, look at that, look how fast he was ready to go. Back in the water, man. That's what it's all about. Alright. Oh, there it is. There we go. Well this one's not too bad. He's got a little bit of size. Just holding me in that current right now. Try to keep him from 
under this kayak. Oh yeah, that ain't a bad one. Let's get him in. Nice little chunk. Alright man, uh, so far so good. Been a pretty productive night. Oh, <laughs> look at that. I mean, geez Louise. It's like legit as fast as you could get it out there, you're catching a fish. Now Grant, we've been running into some small ones recently. This guy's gonna take the cake for the smallest of the night. Oh, uh, maybe not. Uh, maybe, he's got me pretty small. Oh, let's get you in the boot. Oh, yeah, look at this guy, man. He, this is what we call, let me see if I can't get him. Uh, striper with a diaper. Oh, there we go. There we freaking go. I knew there was one sitting right there. Let's go. Man, this never gets old. These guys are so fired up right now. I mean, there's just so many of these little guys around. Might just cast directly into that light line. Oh, never mind. <clears throat> just heard some right ahead of me. Oh, <laughs> let's go. That one freaking, I felt the little short strike, grabbed the tail and then came back for it. Let's go. Not a big guy, but definitely fun, man. Look at this, another one. All right, man, we're gonna get this guy back in the water, off the bite and get bigger. All right, man, I'm hearing some fish jumping. So we're gonna start blindly casting and hope that we might catch one of these fish that's on the surface. You hear that? Holy smokes. That was a big splash too. Man, there's a big one right to my left. There's like two fish right in that little pocket. Oh my God, I landed right on him. Let's go. Let's freaking go. Oh my God, this is insane. They're just jumping everywhere. Literally, I could hear them. You probably can't hear it over the other outside noise, but Literally fish jump into my right and my left. Oh man. Let's go. Uh, let's get this guy in the kayak. Oh, easy buddy, easy. 
I'm gonna get you back in the water so we can catch one of your brothers. Not a bad one, not a humongous one, but. Oh, there we go. Let's go. That's definitely not a flounder. And if it is, man, it's a, it's a nice flounder. Man, this guy came to life. see that's the only bad thing about this nighttime fishing man sometimes you can't really tell how big a fish is uh, that ain't a bad one we're just gonna uh, put them in though borderline net worthy but we're not keeping anything tonight so if we, oh, we can just get a hold of the line Yeah, that ain't a bad one. Look at that. Right in my lap. Alright, man. Let's get this sucker back in the water where he belongs. Off he goes. First fish. What do we got? Oh my lord, look at this. Freaking flounder. Oh man. Look at this. <laughs> Nothing like a November flounder. What are the odds of that? I mean, the water's still pretty damn warm, so I'm not really surprised that we're getting flounder, but, I mean, it gave us a little bit of a fight. 